So I'm Fleming Conradsen. I normally work at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, and I deal with environmental health issues. But one particular issue that I also deal with is, is pesticide poisoning. Uh, it relates to occupational health, um, also some accidental issues of pesticide poisoning. But here today I'm talking exclusively about how pesticides are used as a means of um, self-harm, committing suicide, or attempting suicide. So it's a it's a specific, uh, let's say, research topic. Um, it globally kills about 300,000 people per year, um, acute pesticide poisoning, and it has been ignored for a long time. But uh, there's a network of researchers, including people here in Scotland, who are um, who are active researching around the world in this topic, and and we are networked. So although I'm in, in Copenhagen, I'm actively involved with a group here and, and we are working with people in Asia, Africa and Latin America. People might be surprised to hear that um, people are using pesticides to, to commit suicide. I suppose alcohol and, and paracetamol, those are maybe the, mm. the usual things. Is this a problem in particular parts of the world? It is a major problem in Asia, but uh, Historically, it, it has been widely used in Europe also. We have just phased out um, pesticides, the most hazardous, toxic pesticides. But I believe in, in Germany and many parts of, of Central Europe also, uh, if you go back 20, 25 years, that was a very common means of, of self-harming or attempting suicide, was using pesticide. But since farming uh, in Europe has become you know, highly professional, large farms. Uh, we don't see pesticides available in every other household. But if you go to India, Sri Lanka, or many places in Asia, almost all rural households would have pesticides. Um, so it's as accessible as you would find paracetamol in a, in a home in Europe. So it's whatever is easily accessible is what people use. Some parts of the world it's small handguns, some parts it's drugs from your drug cabinets, some places it's pesticides. The problem with pesticides is that they're so much more lethal. So whereas you do obviously find death following paracetamol poisoning in Scotland uh, or elsewhere in Europe, still the case fatality, the number of people who actually die following an attempt is not as high as if you had used pesticides. So it's, it's about availability, it's uh, its toxicity of what is easily available. And most pesticides are used in spell of the moment, a failed love affair, financial crisis, domestic violence, um, alcohol misuse, and you simply turn to what is within reach. Um, and that's why pesticides are used. It's not a deliberate choice uh, looking at pesticide as compared to whatever else may be available. And if, if you have a uh, rope or a knife and so on, it's it takes more time to plan a, a pill in your, uh, in your home or a small bottle of pesticides. Um, it's so easily available and it doesn't, it's just spill at the moment. And that's what we want to prevent, of course. So is the issue, is, is, as you see it, um, lack of education for the people who are taking these pesticides in order to, to end their life or, or harm themselves in some way, or is it the, the availability of, of such uh, pesticides which perhaps have been phased out in other parts of the world? So it's a combination that obviously there are underlying issues uh, that have to be addressed. Some of them we cannot address. We haven't yet got a pill against failed off affairs or something like that. So it, it will always happen that people get depressed or sad or, or impulsive for one reason or another and want to uh, harm themselves. But of course we want to reduce death following such attempts. And that one approach to do that is simply to phase out the most hazardous pesticides and making them less accessible in the domestic environment. If we can do that, we know from Europe, North America, many other places, that that has an impact on reducing successful death following self-harm. Successful, of course, not being seen in a positive sense. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.